Hi guys, Anna here. Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how I do my herb veal chops. It's full of flavors and different herbs we'll be using in this. First step from pan searing or braising. To get that nice charred look. To the sauce, mushroom flavored sauce, mixed with onions and different herbs. This is a seasoned lamb chops here with parsley, cilantro and garlic, all minced. You're going to let this marinate overnight in the refrigerator or one hour before cooking. Here I have my onions cut in half, my mushroom slices, my minced garlic. I have brown sugar, soy sauce, lemon, that herb to butter. A little pinch of that roasted jeera or cumin, a spoon of dry thyme and some green seasoning, parsley, minced garlic, and red onions and cilantro, all minced together. In a hot pot or pan, you're going to add oil and add your seasoned veal chops. This process is called searing or braising. We're going to give it that nice chardish look or color to it. And you will smell that aroma it gives out when it's ready to turn. We're checking it here before turning. Then we're going to flip them. Let it cook on the other side. This is just a shallow oil that we're using. It's not a deep fry. It has a nice color now, so we're going to give it one more flip. As you can see, there's hardly oil even in the pot there now. And it smells really nice now. Time to take them out. It's perfect now. So we're going to take them out and set it aside. In the same pot or pan which it has been seared in, you're going to add some herb to butter, garlic herb to butter, any herb butter is fine. Then we're going to add our half of onions. Let it saute. on both sides, giving it a nice color as well too. Then we're going to add our mushroom slices. And we're going to sort this as well too. Adding in our minced garlic. You can use whole garlic cloves as well too our dry thyme, and our minced parsley, cilantro, and red onions. Our pinch of roasted jiro or cumin, and half of lemon juice, or you can use one whole lemon juice, it does not matter. If you wanted a more tangy flavor, you can use the whole one. Not too tangy, just half. Then we're going to add one teaspoon of honey and brown sugar, soy sauce, give it a mix and a little hot water. Not much, this is just going to give it or make it that, turn it into that sauce and we don't want too much of sauce either. One spoon of red pepper flakes and give it that mix. Adding in our seared veal chops. Turning it. And we're going to just cover this for five to 10 minutes before serving it with mashed potatoes or whatever side of your choice. If you're going to be serving it, you can serve it same time. Or just cover it and leave it low. 
until you're ready to serve it. This will be the mashed potatoes or herbed mashed potato. It's soft and cheesy. You're going to wash your potatoes and boil them. This is red baby potatoes and some yellow skin potatoes. When it's done, you're going to take a knife, stick it through, make sure it's soft all the way, cooked all the way. We're going to take them out and we're only going to be peeling the yellow potatoes and leaving the red ones with the peel. We're going to mash, mash, mash. Adding our herbed butter and Italian cheese. You can use any cheese of your choice. I also had habanero cheese and parmesan cheese. Some sour cream. Not too much sour cream because it's going to be tangy as well. A little salt and milk. We're going to give it a mix. Adding in a little more milk, a little more cheese and some dry parsley flakes and minced parsley and cilantro. Give it a mix and it will be kind of thick so my trick to you is you're going to place it back in top of the stove on the stove top. That's why I mixed it in the same pot it was boiled in. Place it back on the stove and let it be on low or medium. Not too high. You don't want it sticking. And once it's heat through back you're going to give it a turn and you will see all that cheese melted. And that's it guys. Thanks for watching.